A young star lost his life earlier this month when he was driving across railroad tracks on his way to school and got hit by a train. He left a giant hole in the hearts of his family, his friends, and his teammates. And tonight, his football coach is speaking only to WJZ about Lamar Patterson's indelible mark on Baltimore and his family on the field. Lamar Patterson was on his way to school when a morning collision with the light rail in Anne Arundel County took his life a month before his 18th birthday. The unexpected loss deflating a gridiron of blood family and football brothers at St. Francis Academy. His smile was something you, you can always remember. I just lost it. Staring loss in the eyes, Coach made the hardest phone call of his life. Lamar's mom, Miss Maxine, gave him strength, and so did Lamar's 22 angels. He passed on 2 2 22. Then the night before, he actually got his 22nd offer to go to college for free. He sent an inspirational text to his team at 2.11 that morning. And it was 2.11, which adds up to 22. Um, he wore number 22 in a photo shoot. And then he had a significant tattoo that he had just gotten that was a staircase to heaven inside his forearm. And it was remembering his fallen brother uh, who passed away in the spring. And it was 22 steps that led to heaven. He's the kid that you want your son to be friends with and your daughter to marry. If you ask Coach Masai, he'll tell you it's a God thing. A little did I know that, um, you know, 10 years ago he was going to bring me to a place that that he was preparing me for, fulfilling again my purpose. One thing about purpose, it positions you for assignment. And for Coach, that was a game in Florida that gifted him a son who changed his life. Coach actually wrestled the football program from underdog to fierce opponents, attracting some of the best in the world. I met him actually in seventh grade, um, coaching in an all-star game, the Under Armour game. Mm -hmm. And he was in the stands and he approached me. And his first thing is, so I just want to let you know that I'm going to be at St. Francis. That's where Lamar had spent the last three years training for college-bound NFL dreams. And he'll be the first one getting to the top of the hill and he'd turn around. I'm finna make this city mine. I'ma own this city. I'ma always rep his name and everything, any and everything I do. And I'ma just make sure everybody knows that, yeah, that was my brother. I think he'd be really proud. Yeah, he will. He's always the one that, what do you mean, coach? What are we supposed to do? Sometimes I hope he walks through the door or he's on the field. It was an honor to speak with Coach and Deshaun there. Lamar's family leaves us with these words. The impact that Lamar had on so many lives was initiated by the courage his mother had allowed for him to spread his wings, leaving his family in Florida, coming here to Baltimore. As a family, we'll continue to love and honor Lamar and keep his legacy alive. You can read that full statement at WJZ.com.